All right, assuming that you've successfully installed Qflow, in this case, I have deployed Qflow using Arikto's Qflow as a service. The default screen that you're gonna land on is going to be the home page. So here on the home page of the Qflow central dashboard UI, uh, you're gonna be able to get quick links uh, to things like community resources, tutorials, as well as free education resources. If we start working our way down the left-hand side nav bar, uh, the first uh, view here is going to be the notebooks view. So from here, this is where we create and connect to JupyterLab, Visual Studio Code, as well as RStudio notebook servers. In the TensorBoards uh, view, as you could imagine, this is where we create and connect to our TensorBoard uh, servers. For example, here we can connect to the one that we have active here to view that particular TensorBoard. And back in the central dashboard, our next view is going to be our models view. And from here, we're gonna be able to create and to connect to our served models. For example, here, we already have a model that we are serving. In the snapshots view, here's where you can manage your Qflow snapshots with the rock data management add-on if you're using it. In the volumes view, this is where we create and manage volumes associated with the Qflow cluster. In the experiments auto ML view, this is where we create and manage auto ML or CADIV experiments. For example, here we can click on this one. In the experiments Kubeflow pipelines view, this is where we create and manage Kubeflow pipeline experiments. For example, we've got a few here already. Um, in the pipelines uh, view, this is where we create and manage our Kubeflow pipelines. In runs, as we quickly saw previewed previously, in the runs, here we compare, uh, create, clone, and archive our Qflow pipeline runs. Under reoccurring runs, here uh, you can uh, set triggers on uh, any um, pipelines that you've already set up or pipeline runs to run on a certain frequency or to run when certain conditions are met. Under the artifacts view, this is where we can manage our ML metadata artifacts. And then finally, under executions, this is where we track um, various component executions using uh, MLMD. And that's it. That's a tour of the central dashboard and how to navigate it.